All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Hoist Gracie and Michael Bisping. So here is the former UFC middleweight champion, Michael Bisping. This is a born fighter. Love him or hate him, he is polarizing, but there is no denying what this man has accomplished in the UFC. Count him out at your own peril. A lot of people did against Luke Rockhold at UFC 199. Michael Bisping brought the belt back to his native Manchester. Michael Bisping is a very experienced mixed martial artist. He's got very clean stand-up technique, solid ground and pound, and he's excellent at adapting his style to get an advantage over his opponent. Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. Hoist Gracie is the original ultimate fighter. He is the man that showed the world that technique and intelligence can defeat brawn and size. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands 61 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the Count Bisping! And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Horace And when the action begins, I'll look in charge of Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, your third man in the octagon here tonight. Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. So here is the future Hall of Famer and former UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping, known primarily as a striker, but if he needs to go to the takedown, he is not afraid to do so. Has some jiu-jitsu skills as well. Prevailing wisdom, though, is that Michael Bisping is going to try to throw hands and kicks here in this matchup tonight. He lands it to the leg. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early. They will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. In on a single here. Gracie gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. Good right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Into half guard again. Big punch from the bottom. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Nice straight left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Strong takedown defense here, Joe. Single leg attempt does not materialize. 
Back to the feet now. Gracie gets caught by the inside leg. Oh! This could be it! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big left hand. Beautiful hook. Oh, nice. How about that shin? Lands to the body. Nice kick to the leg. Gracie gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Nice shot. Oh! He's got him right here. Oh. Thirty seconds to go. Effective strike there by Grace. This pinch will drop very slowly now. Trying to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Second round, straight ahead. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. One of the real characteristics of Bisping's career has been his busyness. He's a very busy fighter. So he has a high volume of strikes, and his cardio is just outstanding. He had a resting heart rate of 34 beats per minute, which is bananas. That's like marathon runner, triathlete type heart rate. Switching stances here. Gracie gets caught with that punch. Hand speed, man. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Another shot lands upstairs. Flipped him with the jab. Back and forth we go! Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. In full guard. Side control. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Tagged him. 90 seconds and counting in round two. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward. Combinations. Throw your punches and punches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out. Caught him with a punch. This pink's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Try to establish that jab. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Hard hook to the head. Good job landing that series of punches here. He's 
Just misses there with the left. This big gets hit with a kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. And the horn sounds on route two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Here you go, last one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's Third go. round underway. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. How about that chin? Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch there by Gracie. Lost the shot here, Joe. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Oh! This could be it right here. Well, he left his head open again there, Joe. He's gonna have to make some adjustments with his corner if we get to the next round. He continues. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Look at this! Take down! Man! He's in full guard. Just over three minutes to go in round three. He's got it. Full mount. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm, tie it up, then shift his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his face. Then he wants to sit back, break That's down. it. There That's it. it. Excellent technique here. Got the arm bar and got the tap. Yeah, Joe, I would agree. High level stuff the way he worked there to isolate the arm, secure it, and ultimately force the tap. The arm bar finish comes here in this round. Hard to do it much prettier than he did just there. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest. At two minutes, 35 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out. Voice. Racing. So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are going to be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.